Hello guys, and welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot on the run. This is going to be part 4 to my playthrough on this game. And as it is in the previous videos, we've gone against quite a few bosses so far, and I feel like we're slowly getting a good grasp of the game, like a good grasp of what the game has to offer. Obviously, I did play the alpha to the game, so I kind of know a lot about the game. But since the full game's come out, I want to know down below in the comment section, are you guys really enjoying the game? Hopefully you all are. And let me know how far you are through the game. How many gems have you got in this game? Let me know, boys. But what we need to do in order to go and face Fate Crash, we need to obviously try and basically beat his henchmen. I've noticed as well that I've been having a few little technical issues with Crash Bandicoot as well before starting this video. Sometimes the game kind of glitches out a little bit where it'll just randomly start making me spin every single time I move left or right. Or when I jump it just randomly spins. Let me know if you guys have been experiencing that. It just does it randomly. So if you just randomly start seeing me spinning around for no reason, just know it's probably because of that. It's been doing it quite a bit today and I don't know why. I've been looking online to see if I can find an issue, like if there's a way to fix it. Well, I'm guessing with it just being like, obviously with the game being brand new and just being basically being released, clean you know, off, that it's... It's gonna, its it's gonna have its issues, you know what I mean? But I'm pretty sure after a few updates, you know, the game will be fine again. But I'm really loving this game. I think the game's absolutely incredible. And from what I'm seeing on the views, you guys seem to really enjoy this video, like these sorts of videos as well. And I'm gonna keep bringing you these sorts of videos to the channel every now and then alongside my normal content. So if it is that you like Crash Bandicoot on the run, you come to the right place, okay? SpongeBob. <laughs> Frosty crap. Boy got a power gem. You know what I mean? We're, we're smashing it, boys. We're smashing it. So I will be doing a lot of this game like off camera, like just obviously like farming resources and stuff. So then I've got them for future videos. And trying to collect loads of trophies as well. And if it is that you guys really enjoy these videos and would like me to start buying skins within the game. I will do that if that's something that you would like to see you showcasing different skins within gameplays and stuff. It's down to you, okay? Or just let me know down in the comment section if you want to see that sort of thing. You don't have to, like, you know what I mean? You don't have to, let, like, want me to buy these skins. I can just casually play the game with any stuff that we unlock. But, see, it is personally. It's all down to your own personal preference. If it says that you want to buy stuff in this game, then that's, you know, your own accord. Take on a lab assistant. We haven't fighted any of the um, lab assistants within the scheme. Yet. So this should be interesting. Let's go, boys. Oh, damn it. No, he's not doing it. So I thought he was just doing that spinny thing. I just need to keep spinning. I thought he was going to do it there. Go. 
go. So far, so good. So far. So yeah, let me know down below in the comment section what's your overall thoughts and opinions on Crash Bandicoot on the run. Are you enjoying this game? Have you been playing this game since it's been released? Let me know. And if so, what device have you been playing it on? Damn it, man. Got these slimy gooey things. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. This game is just brilliant. I love. I'm just loving the, the vibes that this game gives me. It's just one of games where you just get so addicted to. It. Once you get drawn into it, you just want to keep playing it and playing it and playing it. Now, I mean, if I didn't have to go work later on, guys, I would be playing this game all day. I don't know why. I just does that sort of effect on me. So we need to try and get one of these. Oh, okay, so we need to we need to get one of them eggs. Alright. Takes about 20 minutes for an egg. to make one of them bomb things. Damn it, man. I'm running out of crystals really easily. You can buy crystals in this game. So if it is that I need to get more crystals and I need them ASAP, then I can, you know, I can buy them, but I'm going to try not to. Unless, of course, I really need to. You know what I mean? To be fair, though, the microtransactions in this game are cheaper than I thought they would be. I mean, I was expecting them to be like five or ten pounds. Or I mean, it's, they're kind of they're kind of good when it comes to like buying crystals. I think you can buy a hundred crystals for something like a, a pound or two pound or something. You know what I mean, which is you know fairly cheap. <laughs> Doesn't matter how much nitro crates you throw down or them green gooey things, you won't stop crash and you know what I mean? We got this boys. It's another henchman been taken care of. Okay, so we gotta make one of these. 
these. It takes 10 minutes to make one of these. Can we battle it straight up? Yeah, we can battle it. Alright, no problem. So we'll defeat the henchman and then we can go and take on Fake Crash. It'd be cool if you can of like Fake Crash as a skin for like for our playable character. Because obviously there is a few skins you can get at the moment, obviously by buying the crystals and stuff. For some reason as well, I haven't re like received my pre-registered skin, because apparently if you pre-register with the game, you've got your hands on this like blue hyena skin for Crash Bandicoot, but I never received it for some strange reason. And I don't know why, because bear in mind I played the alpha and everything for the game. But I never received it, so I don't know if it's I'm gonna get it at a later point. I have reached out to the developers to see if like, you know, they can give me my skin. But I've had no confirmation back off from there, so I don't know what's happening regarding that. But if it says that the skin does come available on the store anyway, I'll probably just buy the skin anyway. Just so then I've got it. Got the uh, cups. Or trophies. right now, come on. Frosty pink elephant. Elephant's got the moves, man. Likes the boogie. Power gem, bro. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Back to base. I've got 19 out of 20 gems so far, so I need to get one more gem, which I'm going to get from obviously defeating Fake Crash. Okay, so we need two of them blue bombs and. Well, we need a frosty bomb, I need, and we need a nitro bomb. So what we need is a... Ooh, damn it, man. We need to trade them. Uh... Hang on. We need two of each. Okay. I don't have enough crystals either. Damn it. Might have to wait a couple of minutes. Uh... Okay, so we need to get another egg. It's going to take a couple of minutes. Um, now we need to make the green ones as well. The nitro bombs. These shouldn't take long to do. They'll take a couple of minutes to do as well. So It won't take too long to do this. So what, what, what we're going to do whilst they're doing their own thing, we're going to go on a little bit of a run. Just to farm some resources. And then hopefully by the time we finish our little run, We'll be able to obviously dive straight into the boss fight. Well, the boss run, I should say. It's not really a boss fight, is it really? Well, it is, but you know what I mean. Alright, let's do this, boys. Go farm some resources and we should go right there. Nice little cheeky little run around. Okay. 
So hopefully you all enjoyed the video so far guys. If you are, then give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you would really, really appreciate it. Let me know down below in the comment section if you want to see even more of Crash Bandicoot on the run. And I'm hoping that each and every single one of you out there, if you are playing this game, that you all are enjoying it. And that you are having a lot of fun with it. Let me know if you brought any skins in the game using your crystals or anything. And let me know if you'd like to see like regular videos of this every now and then on this channel or if you want to see them every now and then alongside other content. Also as well, if it says that you are new to this channel, I also do have a main channel where I play Call of Duty, I play Realm Royale, and I play Fortnite Save the World, so if it says that you're into that sort of stuff and would like to see that sort of content that I make, there's a link in the description that will take you over to my main channel, so make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon on that channel and you'll never miss any future uploads. I mean, your boys always keep me busy, you know what I mean, if I'm not a word man, I'm making loads of videos, that's what I like to do. I think one day when I'm like a really old man, people will be able to look back at my YouTube videos and it'll be like an ongoing Netflix series. You'll probably be able to watch them before I like, lead up to your own retirement. I mean, you could be in your youth days now, and then by the time you watch all my videos that I like make throughout over the years, you will basically be able to retire when you eventually watch them all. If of course, you know, you can sit and watch all my videos that I've ever made. I feel like as well as like as a content creator, I feel like I've come a long way. Even though it's still a small channel, I feel like I've developed a lot as a content creator. And compared to my content that I did when I first like started my main channel, which was like six years ago now, I feel like I've you know come a long way. I'm got more more confident now. And you can tell that the content's got better and better and better over the years. Where it's to the thumbnails, the titles, the way that the videos are presented. I mean, a lot of stuff's just changed, man, over the years, and it's just mad to think it's been six years that I've been a content creator. It's crazy, you know what I mean? There we go, boys. There we go. Hopefully now, I'll be able to fight Crash, uh, fake Crash. <laughs> Alright, so that one's done. Uh, nice, we've got those resources that we need. Let's go and fight Fate Crash. Let's see who the better bandicoot is. Okay, let's see who the better one is. Oh no, he's doing that spinny thing, guys. Look. Every time I... T no, every time I move now, it's just going to randomly spin. Oh no, that's not good. Like I said, this is the this is the bug issue that I've got. Like, I can just move, jump or anything. It just randomly starts spinning as well. Oh, it's so annoying. Developers, fix this issue, please. It's so annoying. I don't want to keep spinning randomly. Because if it is that I want to try and save my boom berries, I can't save them because as soon as I move, it's just, it's just going to randomly throw them. Oh, that's fake crash. Nitro fake crash. Oh, he's got food barrels as well. Yeah. Man. Damn it. 
Mr. Hurt and Blueberry. Stop spinning! So annoying. Let me know if this has happened to you guys when you're playing this game. Does it randomly spin for you when you like when you move? Yeah, I can manually spin, and it'll just auto spin on its own. I don't know if there's like a setting or anything I can use to turn that off. Damn it! Two more hits on you. Come on. Come on, we can do this. Let's get him. One more. Oh no, we've got one more hit on him. What? Yo, oh, that's sneaky, man. Extra bit of health. There we go, my friends. Going down Nitro Fake Crash. Easy, boys. Is another boss to add to the collection, you know what I mean, that we've defeated and just been able to put out the misery. What's next, boys? What's next? You've unlocked? I guess that's Dingo Dial. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, Frosty Dingo Dial! Okay, so we've already beaten Dingo Dial before, which was like a Nitro version of it. So I'm guessing there's going to be like different versions of the same bosses, I'm guessing, within the game. Which, are, you know, it's pretty cool. Like I said, look at the crystals. 45 crystals for 79p. I mean, it's cheap, man, but just don't, if it says that you're going to be buying microtransactions in this game, all I say is just think about your decisions before you do it. And make sure, if you're a younger viewer, that you get your parents' permission before doing so. Because, you know I mean, I don't want you guys getting in trouble for spending loads of money on this sort of thing. But like I said, if you are a younger viewer and you want to buy things... Ask your parents' permission to see if it's okay with them before doing it. If you're an older viewer and you're doing it, just, you know, my advice to you is just watch what you're spending and just make sure you're spending what you can afford to spend, okay? If not, if you don't want to spend money on it, you can grind out crystals by completing the Aku, Aku challenges and stuff. So make sure, you know, you make the right decision what's best for you. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Please, developers, fix this spinny issue that my character seems to be having. And yeah, I'll catch you again next time. Have a marvelous day, and I'll see you again real soon.